Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about crochet, mostly. <laughs> well, uh, the filming that I have in today's video, some was filmed Saturday, and some of this is filmed Sunday. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And before I forget, I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to you guys. Um, yeah, so let's look at the first thing that I had that I did finish. Okay, guys, before I forget, I have a joke for you guys. What do you get if you put a sheep on a trampoline? A woolly jumper. <laughs> okay, so I just finished with Happy the Polar Bear. And I had done, um... Hula the Hippo last week, and so this week I did Happy the Polar Bear. Isn't he just adorable? Okay, for the polar bear, I used a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and a 3.0 millimeter hook. The yarn that I'm using for these characters is this um, Mega Ball yarn, We Love yarn, and I got this from Hobby. It's H-O-B-B-I-I. And, um, gosh, how many yards are in this thing? The color on this green says 635134. There's a lot of yardage on here. It's a three weight, 100% acrylic. There it is. 1,312 yards. Wow. That's a lot of yard. I have almost every color that Hobby has in this Mega Ball yarn. I've got it whenever they were had a special running on them. Like the more you buy, the more you save. And so that's what I did. Anyway, so um, now I'm going to use those to make these six characters. And what else was I gonna show? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you, give you a tip on the little um, floaty there. A little frog floaty. Okay, so for his shorts, I used a yellow yarn and I just ran it through all the way around and I pulled to tighten them on him and then I uh, tied a little bow. Now on the floaty here, all I did now, of course I had my French knots, not like these should be here like and those should be here, <laughs> but it's okay. No one's gonna care. But anyways, I wanna give you a tip on this. The floaty was too big around. Like when I put it on his body, it would fall off. So all I did was take a piece of green yarn and I put it, uh, tied a little knot back here. And then I just went all the way around and I pulled to tighten and I tie another little quick knot and then I'd pull um, and then I would weave it in around here and then I would pull to tighten. And that way it kind of bunched it up a little bit and it made it to where it fits on him just fine. So if you make this and you're having trouble with that and it's too big, hopefully that little tip will help you. Um, and cause you saw how it was on him and it fit just fine. So once again, right now until I'm not sure exactly what part of June, I don't know if it's the first of June, but these patterns are free on rickarumi.com. R I C. How do I spell that? R I C O R U M I dot com so yeah so on to pattern number three i am having so much fun with that rickarumi stuff it is just i'm just loving it um i can't wait to get started on the next one um i will leave the link below um and go get the pattern i believe it's still free till the end of this month Okay, so the next thing I'm working on, let me show you that little clip, and that is from Annie's. It's the vest that I'm working on. So guys, I'm outside working this morning out here on my screened-in porch, and what I'm working on today is the perfect topper. This is the Annie's Love to Crochet Kit Club, and that's what I'm working on today. Now, my kit came with three skeins of this yarn right here. And it's supposed to come with this little button, but I don't know if maybe when I opened the bag up, maybe the button fell out and I didn't see it, but it's not in my bag. 
but this is a uh, a monthly subscription that I'm involved in with Annie's. I will leave the link below. Um, I'm not sure. I think right now they have 50% off your first kit if you're interested, and I'll leave my link below. But I just wanted to show you what I'm working on now. Here is the yarn. It's the Annie's Kit Club. This is some really soft yarn. It's medium three-way. There's 310 yards in here. 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. And it feels so good. Um, I am work making the size medium. And so far, it's having me to make 12 rows of these fan stitches. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm on row 8 right now. Well, actually row 9. I just finished row 8. I'm on row 9. And in my bag here, um, I have two more skeins to go. I have my scissors. And let's see how much this kit cost me. Let's see if I can... Okay, so the it cost me $19.99, $5.95 shipping, $246 sales tax. Um cost me $27.83. I'm not sure what 57 cent credit applied is. But um there we go. So $27 for total for this kit. Um and the what I like about it is I don't mind paying $27 for this because I have a pattern that I will be able to use for other projects. I can just use different yarns with it. There's also a video tutorial if I get confused and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I go watch their video. And if I lose this little pamphlet here, then all I got to do is go into my account and there's the pattern and I can download it to my computer. So I would highly recommend this Love to Crochet kit to you guys. So far, I've been very, very pleased with it. Um, and I know I've heard some people say that they didn't care for the vest being short like that. But I'm actually looking forward to having a vest like that. I like the way it looks on this girl. And I'm really looking forward to doing a vest like that. And if I like it and I do want to make it longer, I'll just use some of my own three-weight yarn and make me another one. So, yeah, I'm having fun with this so far. It's very, very easy. Um, I haven't gotten into the uh, making the hole, the arm holes and things like that yet. So we're going to see <laughs> how that goes. Okay, yeah, see it says access video tutorials at annieskitclubs.com slash login. Log in with your email or your account information. And that's all you got to do. All right, since making that video, I wanted to show you guys where I'm at now. So I have, this is one of the fronts, this is the back, and this is the other front to be. <laughs> right there. I just got to crochet down. And what I will be doing is connecting these two pieces here which will make an armhole somewhere like that all right all right let me see how this works <laughs> um there we go okay so i will be connecting this top here and it will leave this armhole. This is a size medium that I picked. It goes up to, I think, a, I don't know if it's an extra large or even larger than an extra large. I can't remember. I don't have the pamphlet in here with me. It's in my bag in the living room. But this is it so far. And I have a feeling I am really going to love this. And if I do, I'm going to make another one. But uh, with my own yarn. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. But I haven't tried it on yet to see. But um, it is pretty, it's from here to here. But I don't know how long this hangs down. This may be a pretty big armhole. I haven't tried it on yet. So, um, but the material, the yarn is really nice. It feels so good. 
and it's being done in the fan stitch. So yeah, but that's the uh, the back side. I guess now I can kind of tell, can I? With that, I like the way that this armhole is way down here, like that. That's pretty nice. That means it'll be nice and airy when I wear it. For the summer. goodness, I love this yarn. It just feels so good. Now this yarn is a little splitty, but it's not as bad as Premier bobbin yarn oh my gosh that was really bad to work with and this isn't but you can see it does split but at least it's wounded you know and it may have a split that premier bobbin is not like that it's really hard to work with even though the premier bobbin is nice and soft and oh my goodness it is beautiful when you uh, make something with it but it is splitty and this one is not i mean this one is splitty but it's not like that it's something that's workable. So yeah, I'm really liking that's this. All I actually have for this video, tomorrow I'm going to dedicate my video to my unboxing of my Hobie yarn. So be sure and look for that Tuesday. I will probably do the filming on that Monday throughout the day because um, it's going to take some filming where I've got to go on camera, um, not camera, but film a little bit of stuff on their website and a few little things like that. So, um, and I like putting my videos out early in the morning, so I will probably do a little bit of this tomorrow, and that's the reason a lot of this filming for today to go out Monday is being done on Sunday, so that um, I can do that for work on that Monday to put out for Tuesday. Oh, and don't forget your whip caddies. If you have pictures, please submit them to my Facebook group page. We all want to see. I love sharing what you guys are working on, and it inspires others. You may not think you got anything worth inspiring, but you do. So go ahead and post it. Okay, let's go ahead and do our 365 days of prayer. Okay, it says, my inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That's 2 Timothy 3.16. Holy One, guide me in your truth today. I look to you, finding nuggets of wisdom and revelation in your word. They inspire me to dive deep into knowing you more. How I long for you. You have all the answers to questions I don't even know how to form. In you is the wisdom I am so desperate for. You have the keys to life. Even in correction, my soul is encouraged because your faithfulness reveals your good intentions in me. There is no end to the revelation of your love. Fill me anew today with your thoughts that are too wonderful for me to make up. Your creativity knows no limitations. As I meditate on your word, I ask that you would bring it alive in a new way. Thank you for your breath of life that puts animation to words that would otherwise fall flat. You are the speaker of life. In you, I find who I am meant to be. I love you, Lord. How does God's word inspire you? That was just beautiful. I hope that has in helped encourage you guys. Um, it really encourages me. Okay, that is all that I have for this video. Uh, be sure and look forward to Tuesday and Wednesday's video. And um, just remember, guys, to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.